What's up, guys? Hey, it's Wednesday again. This is Cody with Secure Agent Mentor and SecureAgentMentor.com. It is Wednesday. It is hump day. We are halfway through the week, and this is another podcast episode of Thinking Outside the Box. This is episode number four, four weeks in a row, where we bring you some type of creating prospecting idea, something that's creative, something that is a little outside the box, something that other agents may not be doing, or if they are doing it, they're not. maybe, maybe they're not doing as, as successfully as they could or as you could. So today's going to be setting up a mini telesales call center. And the way I've done it, so, th- so that we can produce 10, 15, 20 apps over the phone every single week. And how to make that happen. Because I can tell you this, if I can do it, you can do it too. It is that simple. And it really, really is. And so the first thing is when you're setting up a mini telesales call center to sell over the phone, you need some type of steady flow of quality leads. Some type of steady flow of quality leads. You have to get them from somewhere. We've got final expense leads at a massive discounted rate at our, on, on our website at secureagentmentor.com. Uh, so you're more than welcome to check out there. That's what I use You know, to do uh, one week. Last month we did 19 uh, apps for almost $13,000 in one week. And I did a live video about that last night on Facebook and YouTube. If you haven't checked that out, you want to check it out. But this is about setting up a mini telesales call center. And even mini calls, even mini call centers can do 40, 60, 100 apps a month. Uh, and I know that sounds like a big number, but nowadays in the telesales world, it's really not. Um, I've had days of five, six, seven apps over the phone, you know, so that's kind of that's kind of normal nowadays. Um, It's real easy to get to where you're doing one to two apps a day. If you have the right system, if you have these things in place that we're going to talk about. And the first thing is a quality lead flow. You need to be getting have a quality lead flow where you're getting uh, at least 100 leads a week for about 5 to 10 bucks a piece. So that you're investing about $500 to $1,000 a week into a good quality lead flow. And then you also need... Taking it a step further, you need a you need a uh, you know you need a you need a if you want to do it right and set up a good mini call center and you can do it all yourself, um, but it works well if you have an opener that is using a, a killer script. And what I mean by opener is uh, it's a telemarketer, it's an LOA, it's a part-time individual, it's a college intern. It's an ex-agent, you know. It, it's your spouse, it's your friend, whatever it is, uh, where you're actually giving them a percentage of sales. I don't pay anything hourly ever. Um, I give them a percentage of a percentage of the business that they bring in, and so, and I'll give them a decent percentage uh, to do that. And so, uh, I use openers to pre-qualify my leads, and if they're licensed, I'll even get them into actually quoting and closing as well. My telesales uh, life and final expense insurance script uh, that's over at my website in my store, uh, it's on sale right now for under $100. Uh, and so you can check that out. That's uh, Cody's life lead and final expense lead telesales script. And it's a, it's almost a sales process in itself. Um, but you need an opener with a, with a good script to pre-qualify leads or you need to be pre-qualifying the leads yourself. Um, if you're getting 100 leads a week, you can probably pre-qualify a lot of them yourself. Uh, but again, you want to weed out the ones that you cannot close uh, immediately or maybe ever. You know, they're just not a quality lead. They're not something you feel like you can turn into a sell. Uh, and so you need an opener, um, or you can be the opener, but you need a killer script that, that you're able to pre-qualify leads. Uh, and the last thing is you need some type of closing sales process. And... My script is actually, um, it doesn't give you an opener, you know, unless you do the opening yourself, but my telesales life insurance lead script um, is partially a sales process as well. 
you can use that script to do the opening and the closing on the first call. So that you're opening, making it exclusive, they may not qualify, seeing if they do qualify, and if they do, actually pitching them, breaking down their objections early on in the script, and actually closing and making sales on the very first call. I've made tons of sales on the very first lead call. And I got tons of openers uh, and agents and LOAs that can do the exact same. And so you need some type of, so, so, the, so the, the, the three steps, if you will, is you gotta have some quality leads. You know, you, you, you can't you know, set up a mini call center and sell over the phone if you don't have good quality leads. Uh, then you need some type, of, some type of opener or you be the opener with a killer script and then you need some type of closing sales process. Uh, one thing that we do is I'll have my LOAs and telemarketers, and I've got a couple of them. I will have them close the app, actually go through the entire sale with our script, script slash sales process for telesales. I'll have them go through the whole thing. If they can sell it, great. Go ahead and close it, submit it, all that. If not, then uh, I will actually call them back. Uh, we make an extra... We make a sell a day from being close to closing, uh, and I would say a sell or two a day, where they, where, where I've got, uh, uh, you know, uh, one of my ladies, Miss Trudy, she'll say, hey, I couldn't close this, I couldn't get it, but I know that you can if you'll get on the phone, jack them up, bring your mojo, and close them down. Uh, because for openers, you just want you just want people that are phenomenal at building rapport that are good on the phone, sound good on the phone, that understand the business, and that can pre-qualify people. And you don't have to understand the business too too much because my script does that for, for you. It kind of walks, it's three pages and walks straight from, you know, hi, my name's Cody, all the way through the cell. Hey, thanks for your business. Welcome to the family. And so, but we'll do that where they'll give me one or, you know, one or two people a day that are, that they cannot close, that are close to closing, they felt like they could have closed, and I'll go in there and make a few calls before I leave at night. Sometimes it's 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock at night, and I close about anywhere from 60, 70, 80 percent of the ones that they couldn't close. I'll get on the phone and, and shut them down, uh, and that that's part of it helps by having that opener-closer relationship. Uh, I know you, you know car salesmen do all the time, or call centers use you know what they call TOs, uh, where where you've got the you know the sales manager coming in to to close the deal, to really get the real objection out of the individual, to get them to to, to make a decision, to get them over the hump, and so we use the same thing with with, with insurance. You know we do it all the time. Uh, if I can't close if I can't close someone, I'm gonna have another agent call them and say hey you know this is a uh, you know this is so and so. You were working with Cody here at our office. He, he wasn't able to earn your business or help you out. You know, what would you say was the main reason that you haven't made a decision yet? And you just, you surprise them. You get straight to the point and they'll give you the real reason. You know, they'll, uh, nine times out of 10, they'll actually give you the real objection. And then, then the sales manager, the closer, the TO, whatever you want to call it, can move into, you know, overcoming that objection and actually shutting them down, getting them to sign, inking the deal, whatever you want to call it. And so this is something any, anyone can do. You know, I mean, I have, I have agents all over the nation. You know, we have, we have a couple hundred agents. A lot of them sell in person. A lot of them sell over the phone. We don't care what you do or, or, or how you do it. We just care that you're successful, you're making money, and you're happy. And that's why we do what we do. So again, this, is, this was all about setting up a mini telesales call center, which takes quality final expense leads, an opener with a killer script, or you be the opener, and a closing sales process with questions that simply deliver results. And our script and our sales process, again, is over at Secure Agent Mentor and secureagentmentor.com. It's in our store. We just had a, uh, we just had a young lady actually buy uh, our script this morning. Uh, for her, she's setting up a mini telesales call center, and she bought it this morning. It's on sale right now, and she loves it. You know, it, it, it's it, it, it's the best script I've ever seen in my life. I love it.
And so again, go check it out. We got tons of free content. We do podcasts or live shows every single day. You're listening. You're probably listening on YouTube. Go to our go to our uh, uh, go to our Facebook. Go check out our Facebook Secure Agent Mentor and like our Facebook page. Facebook.com/slash Secure Agent Mentor. So go like our page. We're doing live videos on Facebook all the time so that you can get notified. Again, this is another episode of Thinking Outside the Box about setting up a mini telesales call center where we bring you a creative prospecting idea every single Wednesday. So thanks so much for listening. Hope you have a killer, killer week and go make some sales. See you next Wednesday.